guys, so it's I'm Just Make Blubber, or as you guys know me, it's Alina. I'm here today to do another super duper requested video. I feel like I've been procrastinating on this for quite some time, but it's what you guys want, so I'm gonna give it to you. And you guys know from the title above exactly what it is. So yes, I'm doing a case collection video. I haven't done one for my Android yet, so I decided to show you guys my little collection that I got going here. Um, most likely I'm not going to buy more cases because in a year or two I'm probably going to upgrade to like whatever S5. Is that out yet? I think the S5 is out. Anyways, to the next Android. So, I'm going to show you the cases I have right now and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first case looks like this. It's gorgeous and right now my current obsession. So it has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful turquoise pink and kind of like a lime green color tone to it. It's very, very springy, very summery. I absolutely love it. And then once you flip it around um, on the front, it has a very minty, nice border around it. And I really like that contrast with my white um, galaxy. And overall, I just love this phone case. It gives so much protection. It is very, very sturdy. I struggle taking it off myself, so I feel like if I can struggle taking it off, it probably means that it's a good phone case. Now, especially for spring and summer, this is going to be the phone case that's going to be on my phone. I really don't want to change it. If I can find the links of all these cases, I'll make sure to link it down below. I got all of them off of Amazon, if you were wondering. So really, all I did was type in Galaxy S4 cases and then just search through all of them. So The next phone case is like this zebra one. Um, I like it. It's. I feel like I was expecting it when I was purchasing this to be as sturdy as this one that I have here. But it's a little bit more flimsy, I'm going to tell you honestly. Um, it's. It is stronger than some of my other cases, but... It has the whole rubber compartment first and then the um, plastic on the outside, but because the plastic is so cut out for the zebra print, it's not as sturdy. So if like, I were to move it, it would really, really kind of move around, which also could be a plus because it means it would be flexible with your phone. Um, I've worn this probably once on my phone and I wore it for a good day and a half. I don't know, I just... I feel like this is a very specific taste and for me personally I just I guess I didn't like it as much as I thought I would when I ordered it. This next one is my favorite print out of all of them. It's this nice blue um, paisley, the, the name of the print, but it's like green, which I don't really like green, but I love the way this kind of contrasts with the orange and the blue and I'm not really sure what the picture is but I think it's really really pretty and in general like Paisley is just such a Russian um, Ukrainian kind of a color for me like I don't know I feel like all of my blankets and stuff are like this back in the day it's not one of those really like sturdy cases that have like the whole rubber inside um, that kind of cover your entire phone so whenever I wear this definitely the top part and the bottom part of my um, phone are exposed and so when I do drop it um, I get scratches. The corners of my phone um, are banged up pretty well because of these kind of cases. Not this one specifically but a different one I have and I will show you which one it is. It's very very cute. I'm very fond of it. Um, it's just not a long time case for me. Um, I like my phone to be very very protected and not just cute. So. This one is literally just the definition of me in the fall. This one, again, is very kind of loose fit like this one. They both have the top and bottom exposed. Um, they also don't really protect the edges on the front. Um, again, very cute. I like this, especially if I'm wearing like a cute outfit or something and I wanted to match it with it. But I feel like I don't give these cases as much love because they are so like flimsy and I'm scared that I'll break them. But, honestly, they are so, so, so easy to change. Like, it's so easy to, like, change this phone case to this phone case. But the ones with the rubber, like, it's impossible to take them off. So This next one is probably a very well-known crowd favorite. I know you guys all obsessed when I showed you guys in my iPhone case collection. Um, these, this one specifically. I think I had a pink border around it that time. But basically, um, it's the same exact phone case except for Galaxies, and I love it. 
honestly, again, the, the literally, like, I think it's the same, same idea as the one that I have on my phone case right now. Um, both of them have the plastic outside. I feel like this one's just shiny and a little bit of a harder plastic, hence why it's so, so hard to take it off. But this one's a little bit of a softer plastic, still not very flexible, but like a, it also has this weird texture to it where it's like sort of soft, um, compared to this one, just, it's smooth. Um, this one's matte, that one's glossy, it's kind of like a preference thing. I like this one in the winter and the fall when I wear more travel print. Um, also, it's a blue, so for me, I don't know, it's just kind of a color I'd have to, it's a very specific color. Um, it actually was my most worn phone case, probably the first phone case I actually put on my phone. Um, it was on my phone for a good, I want to say, three, four months. It's again something where it's like if you want a good phone case, this one or this one, one of those with the rubber inside would be a perfect, perfect, perfect investment just to keep your phone case safe. This one was also my very first kind of phone case. I think it was this one and this one that I ordered together and it came first. Um, this one is very, very cute. It has floral pattern, um, again, minty and pink. Kind of goes along with the same idea as what I have on my phone case right now. They're very, very similar. Again, this is the phone case that has the open top and open bottom. It's definitely better quality than these two because it has it's, it's a stronger plastic and the inside right here is actually fuzzy and so it I don't know it just protects your phone a lot better I feel like there's definitely some you know tension and um, that keeps the phone in place um, very easy to put on not a hassle at all uh, very cute and as I said it's like the same idea the same coloring as the one I have in my phone case right now I'm very fond of lilacs purples purples are my favorite my favorite color so this phone case is definitely my like top three um, I love it this following case is basically the same thing as my cheetah print case it's just a tiger print and again as I said they're like very flexible cheap cases that it's like if you want to change it up every couple days kind of give yourself a brand new look um, I'm just obsessed with cheetah print and animal print I love it so these are very fun cases for me to have um, for the fall, I love to change my cases around. Alright, so the following phone case is this one, and it's actually um, a very similar material to the one that I have on my phone case right now. Both of these hard shells are glossy, and they're very, very strong plastic. Um, the only difference is that this one has just a one-piece um, plastic cover, and this one has two. It is the same idea as this phone case on my iPhone kind of was. Um, it snaps in half, and basically you have like an inner and outer shell that go over this um, lovely silicone material. Um, and this phone case, um, I like the print. I just feel like there's a lot of zebra, and sometimes I get tired of zebra, hence why I changed my phone case. But I had this one on for a good, I think, two months, and I really, really, really honestly enjoy this phone case. Um, I want to find... A different print for this if this print was this or maybe this I would totally wear it and I would never buy a different phone case for my phone um, I feel like this phone case right here technologically I guess um, I'm like thinking of a good word to describe it basically the way they made this phone case is genius I like the way that it separates I can put my phone case in and there's no struggle of me just putting this back on um, this one on the other hand I always struggle putting it back on and then making sure that this inside right here, this rubber part, doesn't get stuck inside or doesn't um, have too much hanging out. It's very, very hard to keep the rubber on. So in general, basically what I'm saying is if you are buying a phone case for your Galaxy, I would definitely recommend this one the most out of all of these just because it is such a smart phone case where the phone case won't break on you because it is such a sturdy kind of material and that like it's such a foolproof kind of system. Um, also it kept my phone so 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 protected. There was no place where my phone would get hurt, like hit or whatever. Um, I also really really like this little bottom part right here. Um, it's, it's kind of indented so it's very easy to press the button, um, the home button. So it's, it's just overall my favorite phone case. The next one was an enormous investment for me. I think it was around $20, and I loved it. I used it for a very, very long time at college. I think I 
I had it on for, I want to say like two weeks or something, um, or three weeks, and the only reason why I stopped using it was because it somewhat broke. Um, again, my fault probably because I just decided to take my phone out. But this part right here snapped off right here a little bit so it's cracked. I might be able to glue it back together, who knows, but I'll have to check. Um, basically it's like a wallet with the phone that goes inside. You guys know this whole shenanigan. It closes and then it has holes in here so you can still talk on the phone while this is on. The camera's out so you can. I just really don't like this hangy thing. The black really doesn't go with the white. Um, also it broke on me which is kind of annoying and um, I also felt like in, in some instances it just, I don't know, it just didn't work right. I felt like I don't know. I just hit myself in the face with this string thing. It was very convenient being at college and having this. I just hit myself in the face again. Um, I just wish there would have been like a key ring too or something like that. Um, but mostly my biggest disappointment is that it broke on me. Um, but I mean, I feel like if you take better care of it and if you just keep this as your phone case, you'll be fine. It's just me being stupid, you know? Now my last phone case is used the least often. It's this one. Um, it's for working out. Uh, <laughs> I have stopped working out um, recently, but I'm going to start tomorrow, so don't worry. Um, it is basically, again, off of Amazon. It's for like your phone to slide in and then you can wear it on your arm and work out. Every time I have to use this, I would have to take my phone out of its case um, because the case and the phone do not fit inside this little, you know, machine. Um, and it's really annoying to me because I like to use phone cases that never come off, basically. So for me, it's very aggravating when I have to take it out of the phone case to put it in this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like if you feel like my hoarding tendencies are kind of improving because I only have 10 phone cases this time compared to my like billions and gajillions of iPhone cases. Which brings me to my next topic. Um, I'm going to be giving those iPhone 4 cases away on my Facebook, Twitter, and my Instagram, and a couple here. I have a lot of them left over, so iPhone 4s, users, anybody, if you have friends, family, cousins, uh, dogs, pets, um, neighbors, uh, cars, anybody who has an iPhone 4 that you know, or that you, maybe you have it, I want you to enter these giveaways because I need to get rid of them. So yeah, I'm opening a P.O. box this week, so I will be announcing that in my next video as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But make sure you subscribe to here and my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook in order to keep updated because I don't want you guys to miss that giveaway if like anything because I think I'm going to have it for like a very quick period of time so that I don't have to like scroll through like a million comments, you know, <sighs> that's a lot of work. Anyways, um, that is it, but I have a haul coming up this Thursday, if you'd like to see it, I'll link it down below once it's up, um, of all these things that I purchased, these are all going to be in the haul, I'll let you know where this is from, it's a secret until Thursday, but um, yeah, so look out for that, and I'm also going to be doing a what's on my galaxy, an updated one, so look out for that as well, I'll link them as soon as they're up. And yes, I'm going to stop talking now and wish you a very, very happy day. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all. And yeah, God bless. Bye.